Explain like I'm five. How do e-cigs work and what's in the juice? So we've all seen it, people blowing massive clouds in public and just a huge amount of publicity e-cigs have got and are still getting now. And I'm just here to explain the basics in a simple and easy to understand way. So there were three main parts in an e-cig and they all come in different shapes and sizes. The first part is a tank. The second part is a battery. And the third part is a juice, the liquid which you put in and you actually inhale. So as I said before, there are many different shapes and sizes and different tanks as well. So I'm just going to explain the most common one at the minute, which is a coil tank and how they work. This part contains a cotton. There are little holes to allow the juice to come through and soak the cotton so it's always wet. The cotton is wrapped around the coil and when heated, the coil vaporizes the juice and uh, you, then that's when you inhale it through the mouthpiece. And this is how they get their fix of nicotine. And these air holes uh, are actually built to allow people to inhale air as well, not just the vapour. People often customise this to suit their needs because everyone likes it differently I suppose. And the batteries, they provide the power to the tank which then heats the coil up and therefore you get the uh, vapour from the cotton because it's heating up. And uh, some batteries come with variable wattage and variable voltage and this is quite complicated it's all to do with Ohm's law really. I don't really want to go over it because it's not necessary for a basic understanding at the minute right now so but some batteries have Bluetooth built in so they can be updated and some even have changeable lights so what's in the juice there's essentially four things and you usually have a mixture of two chemicals to form a base which dilutes the other ingredients these chemicals are PG and VG uh, propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin I hope I pronounced them right uh, then you have your flavorings and that makes it uh, vapor taste nice these can be food flavorings and uh, then there's the nicotine and we know it we all know it's addictive and it's actually not as bad as people think it is because it's not the tobacco is a harmful bit in a cigarette I mean nicotine does some pretty damaging stuff to you if you research it I don't want to go over it because it's it's not all proven yet so I don't want to say anything that's not 100% right but I've read a lot about it and there are some good effects from it and there's some bad effects for it and on a side note a man had a dream once he was in a maze with tiled floors starting out at one and he thought if he followed the numbers he would get out however he always ended up at the start again so when he woke up he uh, tried to understand the dream and see if he could work it out he always ended up back at square one though hey hey thanks for watching if you do have any questions just ask them to me on youtube or you can check out my social media if you have spare time on my patreon page but if you have even more spare time why don't you check out this video about why we lose our childhood imagination because it's like it's pretty interesting you know